Autocorrelation, Wikipedia article audio. Autocorrelation, also known as serial correlation, is the correlation of a signal with a delayed copy of itself as a function of delay. Informally, it is the similarity between observations as a function of the time lag between them. The analysis of autocorrelation is a mathematical tool for finding repeating patterns, such as the presence of a periodic signal obscured by noise, or identifying the missing fundamental frequency in a signal implied by its harmonic frequencies. It is often used in signal processing for analyzing functions or series of values, such as time domain signals. Unit root processes, trend stationary processes, auto regressive processes, and moving average processes are specific forms of processes with autocorrelation. Definitions Statistics Different fields of study define autocorrelation differently, and not all of these definitions are equivalent. In some fields, the term is used interchangeably with autocovariance. In statistics, the autocorrelation of a random process is the Pearson correlation between values of the process at different times, as a function of the two times or of the time lag. Let X be a stochastic process, and T be any point in time. Then XT is the value produced by a given run of the process at time T. Suppose that the process has mean mu T and variance sigma T2 at time T, for each T. Then the definition of the autocorrelation between times S and T is where E is the expected value operator. Note that this expression is not well defined for all time series or processes, because the mean may not exist, or the variance may be zero or infinite. If the function R is well defined, its value must lie in the range, with one indicating perfect correlation and one indicating perfect anti-correlation. If xt is a wide sense stationary process then the mean mu and the variance sigma 2 are time independent, and further the autocorrelation depends only on the lag between t and s, the correlation depends only on the time distance between the pair of values but not on their position in time. This further implies that the autocorrelation can be expressed as a function of the time lag, and that this would be an even function of the lag tau equals st. This gives the more familiar form. And the fact that this is an even function can be stated as Signal processing It is common practice in some disciplines, other than statistics and time series analysis, to drop the normalization by sigma 2 and use the term autocorrelation interchangeably with autocovariance. However, the normalization is important both because the interpretation of the autocorrelation as a correlation provides a scale free measure of the strength of statistical dependence, and because the normalization has an effect on the statistical properties of the estimated autocorrelations. In signal processing, the above definition is often used without the normalization, that is, without subtracting the mean and dividing by the variance. When the autocorrelation function is normalized by mean and variance, it is sometimes referred to as the autocorrelation coefficient or autocovariance function. Properties Given a signal, f, t, the continuous autocorrelation, R, F, F, tau, is most often defined as the continuous cross correlation integral of F, T, with itself, at lag, tau. Where, F, represents the complex conjugate, G, 1, is a function which manipulates the function, F, and is defined as, G, 1, f, u, equals, f, u, equals f, and, 
represents convolution. For a real function, f equals f equals f. Efficient computation. Note that the parameter, u, in the integral is a dummy variable and is only necessary to calculate the integral. It has no specific meaning. Estimation The discrete autocorrelation, r, at lag, l, for a discrete signal, y, n, is Regression analysis the above definitions work for signals that are square integrable, or square summable, that is, of finite energy. Signals that last forever are treated instead as random processes, in which case different definitions are needed, based on expected values. For wide sense stationary random processes, the autocorrelations are defined as for processes that are not stationary, these will also be functions of T or N. Applications For processes that are also ergodic, the expectation can be replaced by the limit of a time average. The autocorrelation of an ergodic process is sometimes defined as or equated to these definitions have the advantage that they give sensible well-defined single-parameter results for periodic functions, even when those functions are not the output of stationary ergodic processes. Alternatively, signals that last forever can be treated by a short-time autocorrelation function analysis, using finite time integrals. Multidimensional autocorrelation is defined similarly. For example, in three dimensions the autocorrelation of a square summable discrete signal would be When mean values are subtracted from signals before computing an autocorrelation function, the resulting function is usually called an autocovariance function. Serial dependence In the following we will describe properties of one-dimensional autocorrelations only, since most properties are easily transferred from the one-dimensional case to the multi-dimensional cases. These properties hold for wide-sense stationary processes. For data expressed as a discrete sequence, it is frequently necessary to compute the autocorrelation with high computational efficiency. A brute force method based on the signal processing definition, R, X, X, J, equals, N, X, N, X, N, J, equals backslash sum X backslash comma, can be used when the signal size is small. For example, to calculate the autocorrelation of the real signal sequence, X, equals 2 3 1 by hand we first recognize that the definition just given is same as the usual multiplication but with right shifts where each vertical addition gives the autocorrelation for particular lag values a fundamental property of the autocorrelation is symmetry r i equals r i which is easy to prove from the definition. In the continuous case, thus the required autocorrelation sequence is R, X, X equals 2, 3, 14, 3, 2 equals where R, X, X, 0 equals 14 equals 14 R, x x 1 equals r x x 1 equals 3 equals r equals 3 and r x x 2 equals r x x 2 equals 2 equals r equals 2 the autocorrelation for other lag values being 0 
In this calculation we do not perform the carryover operation during addition as is usual in normal multiplication. Note that we can have the number of operations required by exploiting the inherent symmetry of the autocorrelation. If the signal happens to be periodic, i.e., x, equals, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, then we get a circular autocorrelation where the left and right tails of the previous autocorrelation sequence will overlap and give, r, x, x, equals, 14, 1, 1, 14, 1, 1, equals, which has the same period as the signal sequence, x, the procedure can be regarded as an application of the convolution property of Z transform of a discrete signal. While the brute force algorithm is order n2, several efficient algorithms exist which can compute the autocorrelation in order n log. For example, the Wiener Kinchin theorem allows computing the autocorrelation from the raw data X with two fast Fourier transforms. If, mu, and, sigma, 2, are replaced by the standard formulae for sample mean and sample variance, then this is a biased estimate, a periodogram based estimate replaces, n, k, in the above formula with, n. This estimate is always biased, however, it usually has a smaller mean squared error. Other possibilities derive from treating the two portions of data, x, 1, x, 2, x, n, k, comma backslash x backslash comma backslash l dots backslash x backslash, and, x, k, plus, 1, x, k, plus, 2, x, n, comma backslash x backslash comma backslash l dots backslash x backslash, separately and calculating separate sample means and slash or sample variances for use in defining the estimate. Where if denotes the inverse fast Fourier transform. The asterisk denotes complex conjugate. Alternatively, a multiple tau correlation can be performed by using brute force calculation for low tau values, and then progressively binning the X data with a logarithmic density to compute higher values, resulting in the same N log efficiency, but with lower memory requirements. For a discrete process with known mean and variance for which we observe, N, observations, X, 1, x, 2, x, n, comma backslash x backslash comma backslash l dots backslash x backslash, an estimate of the autocorrelation may be obtained as. For any positive integer, k, q. Serial dependence is closely linked to the notion of autocorrelation, but represents a distinct concept. In particular, it is possible to have serial dependence but no correlation. In some fields however, the two terms are used as synonyms. A time series of a random variable has serial dependence if the value at some time t in the series is statistically dependent on the value at another time s. A series is serially independent if there is no dependence between any pair. If a time series is stationary, then statistical dependence between the pair would imply that there is statistical dependence between all pairs of values at the same lag st.